Hello, Coconut-chan. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna cook something. What are you doing? Oh, what are those? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, are you slicing it up, huh? All right, okay. <laughs> they don't really... Wait. Are those octo dogs? Those... Those are oxo dogs! Oh my god! Coconut Chan, what are you doing? You little fucker! You just took out that jaw from the fridge! Those are raw octo dogs! Jesus Christ! Are you are you trying to poison your classmates? Oh fucking hell! Shit! You might as well kill them with your fucking knife! Wow! Unbelievable! Shit! Let me take your knife! Come here! Come here! Fuck off! Piss off you! Unbelievable! Not in my kitchen, bitch! She's still holding the freaking octo <laughs> dogs in her hand. Yeah, so what's up guys? My name is Glocko and welcome to the new kitchen of the cooking club. Alright, so I was supposed to, I forgot what I was supposed to do, but I think I was supposed to show you guys how to frame someone. Yep, we can actually make someone be the murderer. Well, at least make them look like the murderer. So I'm gonna show you guys how, okay? Okay, you guys, so before anything else, we have to go here in the drama club and then get some freaking gloves. Yep, we have gloves now. See, awesome. Now that we have the gloves, we wait for Kokona Chen to do her shit again. Okay, guys, here she is, okay? So she's going to touch that knife to slice up those pickled octo dogs. Like, who the hell eats pickled Octo dogs or hot dogs for that matter. God, Jesus, does, does those, do those even exist? But anyway, so Kokona Chan has now touched the murder weapon. Okay, so I guess if you've watched too much CSI or Detective Conan, you'll know that these gloves will prevent us from putting our fingertips on the murder weapon. All right, guys. Okay, let's just let her finish up her shit. Okay, she's now serving it up, guys. All right, so uh, we just grab the knife and we just find someone to kill. <laughs> oh, look, guys, a volunteer. Look, she's already in a sacrificial circle. How convenient. All right, so um, Okaruto, you know, get it, guys? Okaruto, Okult, Okaruto, Okuruto. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Alright, it's time for you to make Senpai happy. Alright, here we go! <laughs> okay guys, so we were successful in that, but we're not done here yet, guys. So, this is what we're supposed to do. So now, that we have our fucking knife and murder weapon, we're now going to DROP IT! Yeah, we're gonna drop no we okay we drop the knife there there you go awesome okay oh hey guys enjoying those octo dogs <laughs> see nobody even touched it yet <laughs> what what are you guys looking at oh i'm bloody oh i'm sorry guys. okay enjoy your octo dogs guys all right guys so in order for this to work you have to follow the steps i'm gonna show you guys okay you take off your freaking gloves there you go there okay you carry them and then you dump him, dump him there. There you go. You got rid of the gloves, but we're still freaking bloody. So we go to the bathroom. Now in the bathroom, you just go nude, and then there you go. <laughs> awesome. All right, we still have some blood on our ass, so we go to the bathroom and bathe. There you go. Awesome. And that was quick, and that's how girls take a bath in real life. Ha! <laughs> All right, and then we take our uh, uniform. No, we won't wear any any other uniform, guys. We're gonna go naked, because why the hell not? Dump your dirty uniform there, and you activate it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, guys, if all goes well, the police should point out the murder to Kokona Hakuna Matata or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that school to end. Okay, any time now. Any time now. There you go. Alright, the school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students, yada yada. There you go. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Okaruto. 
The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Okaruta. The police find the fingerprints of Kokona Haruka on the weapon. Kokona Haruka is arrested by the police. The police question Yandere chan but cannot think link her to any crimes. The police believe that they have arrested the perpetrator of the crime. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Yandere chan stalks and by until he has to return home safely and then returns to her own home. Yay! Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> so hey guys, we're now in the counselor's room is headmistress Fiora. Alright. I, well, I think it's Fiora. I don't know, or maybe it's that vice president from prison school. But anyway, guys, we are done here. Yep, it was, yeah, it was quick. As much as I want to show you more stuff, guys, I can't. This is, this is as far as Yandere Dev has updated the game. So uh, I think the next time he's going to add a new execution method, but I'm, we're not, still not sure about that, guys. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends and favorite. If you want more videos, do check out my channel for more and subscribe. <laughs>